Yeah, whenever you're ready. <clears throat> take a sip. Out I of don't it. know if I want to talk about it. I know, but take a sip out of that Red Bull. All right. Let's just <laughs> see where the dates are. All right, all right, all right. Four, three, two, we're here. Ah! Welcome to another episode of <laughs> Tiger Belly. It's 2023 and it's like peak oil and f***ing, uh, you know, the robots are going to come to life soon. And what's that called? Terminator. No, what, when, the, when, the, when, uh, when machine gets consciousness. It's called... S- Not singularity. Singularity! Singularity, singularity is going to happen. Uh, I got banned. What? From Hinge and Bumble. <laughs> yeah! To an 80, I got banned from them for life. <laughs> for, li- for life? Well, it says that you're banned for life. Wait, that's not how they say it. It's just that your, you know, your um, subscription is um, terminated. terminated and, <laughs> your money's and not I, good here? <laughs> but, then I try, but then I try to redo it, and they're like, no, you're t- terminated. <laughs> so the only way to do it is I have a plan. Wait, wait a second. Simultaneously, <laughs> Hinge and Bumble on the same day said no more? Yeah. But why? Did they tell you why? Yeah, they're people the, complain. They're not the same company. I know. It's just ironic that it happened the same day. <laughs> I think it's because, uh, well, I lie. I think it's because I'm a lie. To win. I'm a liar to win it. No, I because I, I lie about my age. And I, I don't think I should do that. But you know what? It's funny. I, I But it did. It was the reason you and I matched. Because I didn't put my age past uh, 40, I think 43. Two, yeah, or something like that, yeah, and yeah, you yeah. were just right under like 41 or yeah, something. yeah, yeah. You gotta lie, but my point is, is that <laughs> you have <laughs> to lie on that, you but, gotta but, do but, it. But on, the, but on the actual like profile thing, I say in parentheses, yeah. I'm 51. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait, you actually do put your no, yeah, I'm not a complete liar. Oh, that's fine, yeah, yeah. I mean, I white lie, that's fine, a yellow lie. <laughs> yeah, a yellow lie, and, and and I think according to um, this one Korean show, that's called a pink lie. It's a pink lie. Yeah. Yeah, and so um, and, and maybe you ask why I do that. Why do you do that? Because um, <laughs> I have a theory. The theory is this: it's like Korean years is like dog years, right? And there's white years, right? So I'm 51 white years, but I'm 35 Korean years. Biologically. Biologically, oh. I look. I look younger than 51. Wait, we should have Dr. David Sinclair here because he talks about your chronological years versus what your like biological years are. Like, yeah, yeah. What your like your years on paper versus how your body reads. Yeah. So you identify as a what age man? A 35 year old man. That's what I identify as. I can attest to this. Whatever Andrew Santino's age is, I, that's what I identify. He's 40, right? Yeah, and uh, in any lineup, right, you put me and Andrew, if you guys didn't know who we were. Same age. Or even maybe he's older on many fu- polls. <laughs> you know what I mean? Maybe, right? It, it did always concern me that, yeah. like, for myself, I always wanted to be with someone older, so that I, w- I would always be the young hussy. Yeah. And mm. as the years pass, I was starting to mature, and you just kind of stayed the same so that was really concerning for me but also secondly i'd like to say that i can attest to the fact that not just biologically but even behaviorally you're closer to being 12 than you are 50. thank you what what that was uh that's, that's not good that's not a good that, thing it sounded <laughs> yeah, good but then it didn't feel yeah, right it didn't feel right <laughs> yeah maybe older uh, no but you are closer <laughs> to being like an immature 18? like you're a man baby oh man baby so i kind of put 15. Yeah, so yeah, so I got that's a bummer. And then um and then Raya You didn't get banned there. No, but I get it's nothing. Dead zone? Dead zone. And now I'm not, I'm not even looking any woman that comes up, I just do it. Why don't you try men? No, there are guys that try to sneak up on my thing. And they're cute, huh? No. <laughs> You're the, telling me that creatures. Hollywood gays are not cute. That's a lie. No, no it's no, it's not. They're, they're, it's not guys that like me. It's like when I go onto the, um, you know, when you can roll sl- slight left and right. Yeah. There, every once in a while, you see a guy like Frank. You know what I mean? Who's trying to slide <laughs> in? Because Frank <laughs> wants to go out with a, a straight guy. Yeah. Who's not gay, but he can turn him. Oh, it's, really? It's, it's, that's what Frank is. It's the passion of feeling. Uh, yeah. Yeah, turning. yeah. And I've always sometimes you know, thought maybe Frank. Right, I want to see what his game is and how strong it is. 
<laughs> but you know, um, yeah. So I'm a, I'm bummed about it, but it, it, but Raya, it's just, they don't, you know, they did, don't like me. Did you choose the name Frank like Frank Hot Dogs? Like a, Franks. What's a Frank? Hot like, dog? like a how they call a, a hot frank. dog? A Frank. Oh, also, there's other pe- there are people. Like white, there's there's also dudes. Men, there's frank. men named Franks. Frank. Also, I did. That's the first name. Oh, that I came think up. you meant I, hot dog. I, yeah, I didn't mean hot dog. <laughs> but um, okay, yeah, I don't know what you said. Well, I don't know what you're trying to do. But I was um, just like, great association. That's so smart. That's clever. <laughs> but um, yeah, I'm picky. But you know, I'm I'm. It's fine. I'm just gonna have to. Well, the, I mean, I have a plan. Well, don't plan tell them. Don't tell them because then they're going to be onto your plan. What? This video will be submitted, clipped out, and sent to Bumble Corporate. Yeah, even if I show, share my plan, how are they going to figure that out? Okay. Because I'm not going to lie this next time. Okay. So this is my next game. For reinstate. If I can get back on Bumble and Hinge, yeah, yeah. my next game is I'm just going to say my name. I'm just going to say my age, I mean. <laughs> oh. Just, and my name. I'm going to say my name and my age. Like the way you're supposed to do it. Yeah, I mean, my name was <laughs> Vladimir before. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He was a Frank. Yeah, I was Frank. Vlad- Vladimir Frank Gonzalez was my name. But no, I'm gonna do my real age, and I'm just gonna f- just go. You know what? You know what? Because well, I I can still swipe on people. It's just people aren't gonna be able to see my because I'm 51. What happens is if you say you're 51, the girls that are on these dating sites are all in their f- late 40s and 50s. So they all look like Judy Dench, you know what I mean? You know, <laughs> the ones that I, the ones that you bump into, I bump into. Not all. Would of it them. be such a horrible thing to <laughs> yeah, yeah. date Dange. someone in the in kind of sort of your age range? Like, why is that such a terrible thing for you? What's because you just want to play around? You're no, not no, that, no, 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 no. That's not. No, no, that's not it. That's not it. It's just that. Um, I have an idea. We should try to. No, let him answer. I mean, my dad was my dad was 15 years older than my mom. Kay. Oh wow! No. Okay. No, your 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 dad was 45 years older than yeah, your mom. and he that was predatory. So if I date a 35 year old, that's predatory. No, <laughs> but I think that hasn't. You been... guys are now changing the age of that too. <laughs> No. We're all going to prison, baby. <laughs> hey, I'm in jail. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, how old is your how old are you? Three she's three years younger than me. And how old are you? Thirty three. You're that young? Yeah. How old do you think I was? Happy um marriage. Hey. I went to your wedding. And also, thank you both for being thank you for the gift, but thank you both for being there. What gift? He got me he got me a gift. He couldn't make it because it oh, was that's a right. baby. I, I gave you the gift of me. And I loved it. It was fun. Uh, I've. I, let me say. Can I? May yeah. I say you might. Um, I'm getting emotional thinking about it. Why? Because only 70 people were. Uh, there was a lot of people that were pissed that uh, I didn't get. They didn't get invited. They kind of gave me a little like, why didn't we get to come? And I was like, that 70 people there were the people that have done life with me and have been very close to me. So for me, it was like, it was legit. And it was perfect. You felt that. Yeah. Nice. It felt that way. It got so real. I had to turn away. Because you were getting. You were a very important part of my life. <laughs> And you know, he was like a. Oh, it feels, and, oh, it feels so weird and, and intimate. I just want to be brothers for life. <laughs> and, <laughs> I don't like it. Ooh. And if we were on an island. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, first of all, first of all, uh, you know what? Uh, uh, let me share some good things to, to, to you. Why are you getting stuck? <laughs> hey, 2023, don't be nervous about I your emotions. I get so emotionally weird. Well, I, I, I'll say some good things about you. Yeah. Okay. Um, I've only been to what, five weddings maybe in my life. The last one you went to, you said you loved. Five or six. And um, that was my favorite one. That was my favorite one. What about the one before? What was the one before? It was before? a celebrity one. Wedding? Yeah. That's a celebrity wedding? <laughs> that's not a celebrity wedding. Oh, my bad. Yeah, that's my... You know what I mean? So, you know, I, you're just throwing that word around <laughs> a little too easily. Okay, my bad. I just... You know what I mean? You got right, a lot of big... He did, he did two commercials. I didn't have... You were the only... You guys were the only celebrities at my wedding. <laughs> That's not true. That's not true. Oh, here's what I loved about your wedding, by the by. Yeah. The food. No. Amazing. Thank you. Who? The best food I've had at any wedding. So And good. it's your boy. And shout out to the chef. What's his who name? now does stand up, Chef John. Chef John. John I love him. John Betts does stand up because Bobby gave him a 30 minute talk in a restaurant. Yeah. Wait, where's he from? From Hawaii. And so, Bobby, you met him some time ago? We had a dinner. Bobby came, uh, and then he found out John, like, was way before that. Way before that. Way before that. John was obsessed with stand up, like loves all like the old school guys prior. Um, and Bobby was like, "You're a pussy." He did the whole pussy speech. Uh-huh. What are you doing in life? And then I saw the dude's eyes start to water, 
And then Bobby stood him up in the middle of the restaurant and started just stay in the middle of the restaurant saying, you have to do stand-up. You go up on stage. You do it. What are you doing with your now, life? Now, if a comics hear that I did that. Not everyone go up to Bobby, please. I know, but I know. But when comics right now hear that I did that, they're all vomiting in their mouths. Yeah, it's no why? wonder why came out with a special. Well, that's what my was example. That's the example I gave up. I go, hey, if this guy can do it. Hey, guys. 2023, <laughs> no drama here. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. But my point is, uh, yes. What you're laughing? Nothing, nothing, nothing. So that was number one. Um, so that was cool. The yeah. food was great. Um, the section I was in, I liked. You know what I mean? I like the two Korean brothers. Oh, the model. Oh, Arvin the, and Han. Arvin. I love those guys, man. Love those guys. I also love. Go ahead. We had um, Chef Jr. from Tatang and his wife across from oh. us. They're the people who cater all of our Christmases and I our birthdays. Are. I know Patang. I know Patang. Tatang. Um, what? Tatang. And so I know that. And then I um, another thing that was great was this is my favorite part. At the end of the wedding, hanging out because yeah. I was waiting for the donuts. Oh, holy grail! The holy grail, right? And I look to my left, and I see somebody that wasn't at the wedding. So he didn't, he didn't get an actual hey, invite. Hey, let's not put that on. I, I, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. I have to do it. <laughs> Keep this in. I have to do it, right? <laughs> I have to do it, right? I look to my left, and I go, I know that guy. And it was Joe, right? Jitsukawa. Joe Frank. Yeah, Joe Frank. Frank. Jitsukawa Frank. from... Um, from uh, Just Kidding News. Just Kidding News, right? Yeah. And he wasn't wearing wedding attire. And he comes in, he's like, and his, I think his opening line was, yeah, I wasn't invited. <laughs> he, he told me to come at the end. And that just, that feeling. You like that? Oh my God, it gave me so much joy. How does that feed <laughs> because you? It, it, Wait, walk like, me through this, the thought process. Of why does the thought process, that, well, the first thought was like, what is he doing here? <laughs> All right, which I like him. I like him, but I'm just saying, you know what I mean? What is he doing there? Yeah. Right? It's like, no, it was just strange. Like, he, what is he doing here? And then when he goes, yeah. he said he wasn't really invited, but he came at the end. You were invited at the end. It made me feel special about my ticket. Oh, I did that for you. Oh, thank you. And then um, what else did I like? But you really Love your dad. Oh, your dad. Gilbert Sr. Love him. Gilbert Sr. And, um, and it, there's something that I learned something about you, and I'd like to have a conversation with you. Yeah. Because it hurt me. It hurt you. What? Well, can I say what it is? Oh, okay. My wound? Yeah. And I really, um, I'm really emotional about it, really, to be honest with you. You're emotional? I'm emotional. Express it. I can't it. tell if you are. Keep going. Mm. What do you mean? I feel like there's a sneaky. Don't make me laugh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> There's not, it's not sneaky. What kind of, wait, before he gets it, what kind of face is this? Is it a sneaky face or real I emotional? I feel like it's not a genuine face he's making right now. He's like... <laughs> Nostrils flared. Trying. Mm. He's that face where he just wants to poke. Yeah. Poke it. To get a rise. It's not a poke. It's not a poke. You look pokey. <laughs> I'm, hey, I'm not, hey, babe. You're feeling a little pokey. I'm not look, poked out. Look at me. I fo- I'm pokey. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I'm pokey. Yeah, poke, yeah, poke, yeah, poke, yeah, poke, yeah. Poke, poke, poke. Um... I didn't realize you were that religious. I wasn't that religious. Okay, bro. Yeah, you are. No. There, no I'm not arguing I'll, no, against no, it. No, I'll, I'll say I'll, I, wait, I'll, I'll, I don't like that word. All right, yeah. I'm not arguing against it. I'm not making fun of him. I want to have a discussion. Yeah. And I feel like you're going into his defense already. I know your face. No, no, no. I just want to say the word religious because, like, wait, I think, let, let him talk. I think yeah. Akash was here when he talked about his faith. He says, "I'm not religious. I'm all about God." Because well, that was powerful. Because no, because th- religious, it's very man-made. Yeah. The stuff, and it's honestly a lot of the problems we see now is these structures, and it kind of, I don't know, it's it's man-made. Yeah. Some of these some of these things. Hey, I'm all with you, man. Are you? I am. <laughs> yeah, there's a very big distinction between someone but who I'm... loves God and someone who is like hyper-religious. And the way I always read Gilbert is like, you know, he believes and he loves God in a way that sort of like guides him into being like a good human being. Like, and that like I fully support. Um, and and that's coming from someone who's like fully fucking atheist. atheist. Yeah. I know. Like I feel the love and I really, really appreciate that's it. That's what I'm saying. I had no idea that even God was in his life. And when I'm watching, I'm at the, you know. I was gonna say funeral at the wedding <laughs> when I was. Hey, the- <laughs> Cindy, Cindy, Bobby met like lots of love, yeah, you know, life. Love her, by the way, one hundred percent, all in. Locked out. I'm I locked out. I I'm all in on life. Is very different. Right, yes. right. You got lucky. I got right? lucky. Yes. But what I'm saying is, is that I had no idea that you went to church and any of that kind of stuff. Number one. Number two. 
you know, there was discussions that, you know, the there was a not a preacher, but like a reverend or whatever. I didn't, he's a pastor. I didn't know he was a pastor. Right, but you would have <laughs> sessions with him and stuff like that. So the, all that stuff was very enlightening to me. And I have to say this to you, my friend, all right, that uh, a couple of weeks ago, mm-hmm. I've been going to more AA meetings. And a couple of weeks ago, um, I was at the men's meeting I go to. Mm-hmm. And I was sharing. And basically, I said that I just feel um, lost. I feel nothing i feel like there's nothingness i feel this a gigantic hole in my gut and i just feel hopeless fuck i just feel i felt that for a while of just empty and hopeless and As it was recent yeah and it got scary it was scary because it's like it felt it felt like when i was um 15 16 years old you know back in the day when i you know was in the midst of my dad's you know what I mean? Antics and um, doing drugs and this and that. I was at school and just this like hopelessness. So after I shared, this other guy shares after me. The, you know, sometimes you share at a meeting. And this meeting is with like, you know, there, I go to this very special meeting on Monday nights where it's like all men. They're all in their 70s, 80s. They're all musicians, you know what I mean? Um, from bands you would know. But they're all like kind of wise men. And they're all around this like law office, and it's like they don't fuck around, and they've all known each other for like fifty years too. Yeah. And they've had all had like long term sobriety. Oh yeah, they all have like 30, 40 years of sobriety. And a guy just looks at me and goes, "You just have no God in your life, man. You're not connected to God. You're thinking about yourself. You're self serving. You live in self will, and you have to without that connection, without that spiritual connection, you're gonna feel that way. Especially as alcoholics, you know what I mean." So then I um, really, it just kind of like hit me in the face. And I, during that next week, I've been kind of like praying and, um, you know, thinking about, you know, my spiritual connection with my higher power and what it all means and what I believe. And, you know, it's mm-hmm. like a lot of times it's like you have to go through the actions. Mm-hmm. Sometimes you don't believe. So you have to get on your hands and knees and you have to go through the, 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 Motion. the motions of doing it. And I feel 60% better. Mm-hmm. I shared that last night at the meeting. I go, thank you so-and-so for saying that. But, um, and also last night I went to that meeting and it was like, um, I had never felt like kind of, I belonged. I felt like a, a feeling of belonging. You know, I, I, that meeting that I've been going, so 25 years ago or 20 years ago, I f- was first introduced to this meeting and it's like, you know, I, I was so intimidated because it was like, I was like younger, much younger. I was like 30. And it was like all these huge kind of rock stars and stuff like that. And I was just kind of like, um, oh, I, I, this is not my thing. You know what I mean? And now when I go to that meeting, I feel a, a, mm. a part of it because I'm killing it in life and I'm Bobby Lee. You know what I mean? Pew, 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 pew. <laughs> Oh, star meter. Yeah, 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 star, star, star meter. Star meter. <laughs> that's my dick, too. <laughs> that's, well, not, that's, not a gun. that's not a gun. Yeah, yeah. But my. I don't <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> But, you know, so, you know, what I'm saying to you is, is that, like, I'm not. But I'm. The question I wanted to ask you is, how come you never try to convert me into Christianity? I'm not trying to convert. So you, I'm so just let, try, I would say this. I'm try, I think Kalila explained it in a way where I think a lot of people are all talk, and it's nothing wrong with having knowledge and knowing things. But I think some people are saying the uh, Christian world or that faith, a lot of talk, a lot of legalism, a lot of sometimes making things black and white when the world is very gray. And I think the tension between man, and if you do believe in a higher power of God, is that tension of deciding what, what, like what is, like the philosophy, like figuring it out. And I think that gets lost. So I think the way to have people question your character, ask about your character, is to live what you actually believe. And trying that every day. So I would say trying to convert or change is really just being. It's so interesting th- you say that. Go ahead, babe. I was thinking that, like, he really does lead by example. And when I think about you and Cindy, you guys are just, like, people who live, like, every day with so much, like, love and intention. And, like, I don't know. It just you give God a good name. You It definitely – where you make it look really – like a warm, cozy place to be, even for someone like me. I think your your existence is almost enough convert, like converting. Yeah. Um, and I think of, even though I don't believe in God, like I do believe in the idea of like having 
a North Star. And if God is your North Star, for me, it's something else. Like, it really does isn't kind that, of... Is that, isn't that a hockey team? Yeah. Yes, the Winnipeg it North is. Stars. Yeah. So you, you, you I believe in a hockey team. team. <laughs> she believes in seven Canadians. You know what's real? You, you really believe in the... I didn't know you like hockey. I love hockey. So I'm that's a what huge you look Kings at, You look fan. up at them? And the North Stars, yeah. <laughs> He's, yeah, I do. He's, he, someone's been a little pokey over here. I'm being pokey. I'm sorry. You're no, right. But I you're, was being, you're right. I was being pokey. Oh, fuck. I got to check my pokey attitude. Take the check out. You know what? Poke. How about this? When I'm being pokey, we should do a hand gesture. How about how, this? How about when you're being pokey, we give Kalala a long stick. She gets to poke you in the belly. Yeah. No, no, no. <laughs> Just go, you're being pokey. Like, do this. Pokey. When I'm being pokey. Okay. I love when you're being pokey though. It's Not fun. on the like it's my fun. favorite is when he's being pokey, like and the mics aren't in our faces, because then I can go super aggressive on him. Yeah. And I'm never I never show that on the podcast, but like I've my seen God. It. Yeah, you're pretty good. We go tit for tat. Like, so so you believe in the North Star, the star, and you look up there. <laughs> I believe in people finding whatever North Star is for them. For me, honestly, the, the the feeling that I imagine people get from like knowing a God, believing in a God is probably when I'm in the water, when I'm diving, like that feeling where I'm just like, oh my God, like I can breathe. Like I'm so present. I feel light and enlightened. That's your connection with God is through nature. Possibly. I, I, I can only imagine when you're in the water, because I've been down there with you a couple of times, right? I have. Yeah, you have. That down in the deeps. Not that deep. I know, but how, okay, how, hey, how many feet? How many, <laughs> Clyla, how many feet? How many feet? I will say this: Bobby's a great swimmer. Thank you. Um, kind of very buoyant, so he can't dive that deep, but he can hold his breath for a long time, just like in five foot of water. <laughs> wow, God is shutting her up. <laughs> That's what God. <laughs> the Lord. You made did. fun of his buoyancy. <laughs> Because I, I'm going to tell you something. I um, there's this a, a girl that I I hang out with. If I can talk about her real quick. Mm -hmm. I hear you've been w bringing them over. No. Oh, fun. There's this one girl I hang out with, and she's a cool girl. I, I feel like this is this even if nothing happens between this me and this person, I'll probably know her for a while. She's a cool. Her name is, <laughs> and she um she believes in God, mm -hmm. right? She's a Christian, and she goes to church on Sundays. <laughs> but the, the, in L.A., I guess there's churches that are Christian that believe in liberal ideas of socialism, not socialism, but social, the, so, the social topics, you know what I mean? Like, um, is that what they call them, social topics? Cultural, cultural, it depends where you leave. Cultural, cultural topics, yeah, cultural topics. And, uh, you know, like she believes in, you know, a woman's right to choose, you know? Um, they're pretty, you know, lenient about other areas that I, that I believe in, right? And I think that's one of the reasons why I never even went to church because they had these hard, hard-lined, you know what I mean, ideas about life that I don't agree with. I'll never agree. I'm, I'm always going to side with... But that's religion that you're talking about. What do you that's mean? that whole antiquated religious type of indoctrination that I think that like people like Gilbert like I mean, are we, we grew totally up in, that, in contrast. In Catholic Church. That's what I'm saying. That's what that. I'm noticing. That's about, what I grew up in. Like, yeah, I don't like it, yeah. right? But what I'm noticing is, is that there's a new, right, generation of people or whatever into these, uh, I mean, the, I don't say they're new religions. They're just it's a different interpretation of what Christianity is. Or that's, what love is. What love is, yeah, that's yeah. probably a bit, yeah. My whole thing is, is just, you know, I love, I've always loved everybody. You know, I, I've always, I hate any kind of oppression. I hate any kind of, you know, I don't like bullying. I don't like um, autocratic leaders. You know, I just like, you know, I want the, you know what I mean, the little man to come up, you know. But it's usually girls like her who are people you want to keep in your life for a long time because they usually are super open, yeah, super non-judgmental, forgiving, allow people grace when they need grace. Like they're just grace. inherent, like fundamentally like good. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So anyway, um, you know, the, the, thank you for inviting me to your wedding. Thank you for coming. And it was a real um, magical. I thought it was taking that boat to that little uh, little area there. It was beautiful. It was, it was so stunning. beautiful. And then the little fan. The, yeah. The rain. And I love that it rained. Oh, man. I got to tell you something. I, I have to. My, the Go day ahead. before, my dad, he wasn't really emotional leading up to this. My mom was fucking wreck every single day. I was like, relax, lady. <laughs> like, just calm the fuck down. I think Cindy was like just laughing constantly. He's like, why is your mom just crying eating with us? She's like, it's the second to last breakfast. I'm like, chill. So my dad just like kind of more like Gilbert Senior's like, yeah, you know, I'm a man, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. 
the day before we do this thing called a tea ceremony, which Chinese Taiwanese people do, where the families they all sit, and then they give you like the their blessings for your future marriage, uh, and it's a very it's a it's a Chinese thing. So my family didn't know what to expect. They're like, "What do we?" Like, oh hell no! <laughs> it's fine. So, that's my reminder to pick up my son, but my wife's doing it today. Oh, regular. Hey, forever. good dad. Um, so uh, we're sitting there. Cindy's parents talk. They say some stuff. Some funny stuff. They give us the well wishes. We thank them. We bow. My parents come up. My mom just starts sobbing. Of course, you know, ugly crying, and saying how much she loves us. X Y Z X Y Z. And then my dad's turn. He starts to get emotional because my mom. And then right when my dad opens his mouth, rain just starts pouring on us. And then he just loses it. And then he gives us his wishes. And after our uh, uh, well wishes. And after that, he comes up to me. He cannot control his tears. He goes. Um, in the Philippines, when it rains like that, um, it's God saying blessings for you. And the whole time he was thinking about his father because his, his dad never got to see. His dad never got to see your dad marry your mom. Ever. Yeah. Uh, well, he passed away. Why? He died. Why? Because <laughs> I think a, this is going to sound great. A toothache? Oh, I read, I read about those. Well, you died for, I read about yeah. those. He's into of, my he's, I think of being from Sticky Horror. I think there was the idea of like, w like walk, walk magic. Like he's, I can be healed from these things. Not love Sticky Western. Horror. Yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, he was just sobbing, and then uh, I've never seen him cry. That was crazy. Oh my he's god. Like, and he's just like, so every time it rained, everyone just like would start laughing and just crying. Oh. So I was like, when it rained, I was like, oh, I was gonna fucking suck. And I was also making jokes with you because I was trying to like also not be serious and also be silly, making eye contact with you, but. Yeah, when it started I, I, raining. You know, it was beautiful when it rained, and it's almost like you're forced to just, like, people come into weddings when they're makeup, their high yeah, heels, yeah. looking, you know, dressed to the nines. And I really like that it's like the rain sort of just like forces you to just accept the moment and like be hyper focused on the both of you. So it was like no one cared anymore. Everyone was just happy to be drenched and watching you guys get married. And it, it was, was so funny. It, it was, was so fun. It was a beautiful day, man. I, I'll always remember for the rest of my life. And I want to say this, man. I love you. And um, and who? He, but I'll tell you who my favorite guy was at your wedding. Who? Your uncle. Which one? The old, like the Filipino Filipino or like the more Filipino American Filipino uncle. One? Oh, Con Conrado? The, no, the one that was funny. Is that your uncle? There was two uncles. Was that an accent or no accent? He kind of He has like, a little accent, yeah. but like he's super funny. On a dance floor a lot. Older? We were dancing. Older. I hope is he your uncle? <laughs> he is your uncle. Did you just talk to a worker? No, there was a, there was <laughs> a, a no, I forgot his name. There was a guy there that I kind of looks like maybe he's a part of your family. No, yeah. for sure. Older, I a bunch of kids. Yeah. He had kids. Little kid? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Uncle Uncle Ding. Ding. Oh, that's Ding. Ding. Yeah. Dennis. His name is Ding. He's so funny. Really? Why he's not? No, it's just like when did you have time to talk to him? Oh, the whole day. <laughs> really? He would walk by me and say ridiculous things. He was so funny. Like not even just <laughs> Wait, in what a, he said. I'm so curious. I don't even remember. I just remember laughing at him a lot and also thinking, "Wow, this guy has like I in fact in my mind I was like, is he an actor?" <laughs> what? No, I I thought he was like a comedic actor you know exactly because he was who that you're good. Exactly what talking about. He's he so was good. So funny. So funny. That's crazy. But in like a really smart, comedic, like a pro kind of way. He, you know, sometimes, you know, civilians will be try to be funny. Yeah, yeah. You'll laugh every once in a while. But this guy was legit pro. Oh, wow. Like, I'm like, oh, th that was funny what you just said. You know what I mean? Anyway, um, find out. Who, I'll find out if yeah, it's yeah. my uncle. I want to talk to a server. I'm also, <laughs> by the way, next time um, you ever have like a big life event. Oh, my you God. Want me to do a speech? A speech? Hey. Hey, oh, and you oh, know, hold amazing, on one second. Amazing. You gave speech. me a day's notice. We gave to be like, everyone a day and you delivered. <laughs> but can I say this? She, <laughs> she cheated. Why did she cheat? She delivered. I rewrote the whole thing while watching them get married. But did you, you cheated. Know that? You cheated, though. How? Can I, I want to hear the original one. <laughs> what? Are you, hey, hold on. hey. Oh, that. God Clyla, just wait, did that. First, I just did but Clyla, that. Clyla, I'm being pokey. Doing? I'm being pokey. I'm being pokey. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. That's good. Tell me. No, no, you didn't cheat. I'm just saying that there was one point. I know, but listen. There was one point. Where she's like, I have to do the speech. I go, good luck. You know, and she goes, um, Oh, you did your good luck. I go, good luck. Right. And she goes, and I don't like the fact that like you, somebody, you had asked her for me to do a speech. No, I said, like, I asked her. two minutes before the fucking thing, go fuck yourself. I'm not doing it. <laughs> but I'm not doing it. I, said, I, you said, I started panicking. I was like, what am I going to, you no, know? No, I said that, crushed. hey, I'm going to hand you the mic if you also have a few words. And you were like, no, 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 no. No, no, no. But you did say you have to be in 
visual range of everyone in the beginning of your speech because you had, <laughs> you cr- you did do it. I know because but it was rehearsed because she <laughs> because she had a joke. <laughs> And I was like further away, right? She's like, I'm doing it now. You have to be here for my opener. It's not going to work. Crush though. I know. So I went to the fucking sketch show. Yeah, it was a sketch show. So I went to the side. She does her joke, gets a huge laugh, and I rolled my eyes and I walked away. <laughs> Which thing got a big laugh too. It got a big laugh. Yeah, yeah. I really like calling you in front of people who are like God fearing and God loving. I like using the word abomination to describe. All you. right. So to tell them what the joke was. There was not a joke. Yeah, yeah. Tell them what it was. I, it was funny. Yeah. I don't remember, but I did call you like you know that's my abomination of an ex, right? Yeah. And then, oh no, there was fat in there too. And then you were a fat call piece you of fat. shit. You know what I mean? Abomination of an ex. And then you were standing with like Napoleon, right? One leg on the table, just kind of. Standing like that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I was I was. Fucking yeah. people love. Yeah, that shit. they laughed, and I, it was a whole sketch. I walked away, and <laughs> I felt so whole... gross about it. But then she killed the rest of the speech. She did. Yeah. Thank you. You rewrote that. I rewrote that. You know what? I was. I hated my what I had written down earlier and I cried that morning to my sister. I was like, I can't believe he only gave me a day. I have so much to say and it's not coming out of me. I feel like, you know, when you want something to be perfect and now like, you you know, you're under pressure. Yeah. So I was like, I fuck. And Quinn was just like, Kalila, like, shut up. Like you, what you wrote was fine and it wasn't fine. And then when I saw you guys get married and I saw the rain, I got went into my phone and I just rewrote. Bro, everything wordsmith dude and i would it felt so much better and as soon as i saw you guys get married i was like oh i know exactly what to say like it, i can i can make sense now and it's so funny you said gg boy because my family laughed at that nickname yeah. but cindy's side and the mandarin side they don't know what that means gg and mandarin means penis <laughs> so that's why they were all laughing because gg means like you said penis boy <laughs> So all her, her parents were like, what? I wonder why like the laugh was almost like disproportionately huge yeah. for DJ Boy. Oh, so she got accidental laughs? <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know what? Oh, accidental no. Accidental laughs. I thought that was your writing. I, <laughs> oh, she, she knows a different language. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm being pokey. 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 But also my writing was not that no, terrible. No, you killed it. Thank you. I mean, you were out. You looked beautiful. You were out there, and you, you really commanded the room, and... It was amazing. You know, there's some of the other speeches, you know, yeah. were, we're pretty all good. great. Oh my God. You're we're pretty good, but you killed it. Jared didn't even get to finish his because my dad came in and he wasn't supposed to do that. Yes. <laughs> So Jr. wanted to be emotional like after the bits, but then my dad kind of lost it and just did his whole rant. <laughs> Dude, Jr. de Guzman is funny. Dude. He's a pro. Guy. He's a freaking pro. Not only he can sing, he, I, I fucking hate that guy. Oh, he's he has almost everything. Too he's good. so good looking, sing, funny, all that stuff. Check him out on YouTube. He's really fun. <laughs> He's at CAA now, my same agency. Right? He's a great guy. But best wedding. Best wedding ever. <laughs> Had so coming. much yeah. fun. Missed you, George. Yeah. And I get a baby. Let's now. talk about my um, favorite backhanded compliment you gave me was um when you saw me in my dress. Yeah, who and you were like impr- who are you trying to impress? He was like, who, he were like, Oh, I get it now. As if all the years <laughs> I've like sat in front of you, I've just looked fucking hideous. He was like, yeah. Oh, I get it now. I don't think I've seen her like dress up dress up. <laughs> you just look tired. She usually looks tired. T- tired yeah, yeah, yeah. and like slow. <laughs> you looked alive. I, I usually look anemic. Um, yeah. But yeah, you're like. <laughs> also, let's d- l- change topics. Yeah. Um, what did you think of Avatar 2? I haven't seen it. Uh, have you seen it? I watched it in 3D. I saw it in 3D. I, unpopular opinion. I, I liked it. Why is that unpopular? I think most people like I it. I think, uh, I mean, cr- if you're going critically, I can see I have issues with it too. But just enjoying the movie experience, I loved it. I haven't seen it. And I love that Kate Winslet played a Native American. Oh, really? That was her? That was her. She was great as a Native. Yeah. The voice. The voice was Very good. wild. Yeah, Native voice. Um, here's my consensus, if you want to hear it. Mm-hmm. I didn't want to see it. Um, I did everything I could not to see it. But I people would tell me, like, it's great. Uh, Gene, I think. Gene Hong was like, it's pretty good, it's right? Bad, yeah. So I bought the glasses. I was by myself. I was at the Universal over there by myself. Oh, you hated right? it? No, I was in the middle. And I just remember, like, there was two fat guys I sat next to. fine. But two fat guys sat next to me, so I was, like, squished <laughs> in. You know what I mean? And I was by myself, and I had the glasses on. I was like, oh, my God. I should just shoot myself in the face. This is fucking... <laughs> I'm such a fucking loser. You know what I mean? And I was sitting there, you know what I mean, and, and squished. <laughs> and the movie started, and I was just really captivated by the whole thing. Number like one. Like visually? So good. Visually. It's just, it's, you know, it's like, um, you know, if you watch any Scorsese movie or any movie, like Scorsese is a genius, but, you know, you can kind of go, you know what? I can set up that camera angle. Like, I understand where the camera is. I understand 
how it's kind of made. You know what I mean? You do a wide shot, close up, you know, this and that, right? With this movie, it's like if somebody, if uh, James Cameron came up to me and goes, hey, dude, um, you're going to do Avatar 3, direct it. I just, I would look at him and go, I, 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 I wouldn't even know where to, I, I wouldn't even know where, where to begin. Like, that's how, yeah. just the idea, the daunting task. You know what I mean? It's just, you don't know how anything's made. Mm-mm. Right? It's like. Especially the water shit. The water shit and just the angles and just the seamless integration between CGI and human. And then the, the um, you really felt the nature of this one. You know what I mean? You, you really got invested like, oh, oh my God, I think I'm a, uh, you know, uh, what do you call it? Well, people are really into the oceans. It's Kalila. Yeah, I'm Kalila. No, like, <laughs> what, conservationist or whatever? Is that the yeah. word? People who like the ocean. No, but people that are really into nature and all that stuff that are like pro nature. Pro- Hippies? <laughs> what do you call them? <laughs> Um, anyway, <laughs> that's my, that's my, I was like, oh, I want to save dolphins. That's basically the feeling. Oh, whales. The whales, whales and wait, stuff. Hey, the whale stuff? No, I have my argument against the whale. It's a spoiler alert, but bro, let's he, argue about that. He did motion capture whales. I know. That's but legit. Can I just say it's a spoiler thing? It's been out for a while, right? Yeah. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say what my little thing was. Go ahead. What's your gripe? Here's my gripe with the movie. And this is Pokey, for sure. <laughs> poke, poke Jim. I'm going to poke um, James Cameron. The, I have my arguments. Number one, the, that kid that played Spider. The white kid, yeah. Yeah, he, I, I don't know about that character. He was a device for, you know. Yeah, but yeah, I don't know where he, I don't like it when there's a character where it's like, I don't know where you stand, bud. I don't know who you, side you're on. I don't know what the fuck's going on. I like you, I don't like you. You know, there's like a lot of like, uh, maybe, that's, maybe that's what a good character is. But here's my thing. So in the movie, they're slaughtering whales humans are in pandora right but the difference between <laughs> these whales and our whales is the <laughs> what they communicate they straight up talk they don't talk but <laughs> but they they can they you know like an, what do you call the blue things navi the navi yeah. right have relationships with these whales like how are your kids Oh, you take dancing classes? Yeah, they're having like fun. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, How's dancing classes? Yeah. You know what I mean? And the whale's like, they're pretty good. You oh, know they I mean? communicate not just between the whales, with the Navi. Oh, yeah, yeah. They're telepathically, like, yeah. They're like telepathically connected, you know, because they, their tails and their asshole, you know what I mean, strings. I don't know how what that works. What's the connection? Yeah. But they're, you know how they connect to the leaves and stuff yeah. like that, right? So, um, and so they're like, they know each other, they're family, right? And then these humans come with their fucking... You know what I mean? And they kill them. Yeah. Like they killed a mother whale that the Navi love that they've had hundreds of years relationship. of relationship with in front of their kid. Yeah. The whale baby slaughtered it, right? And you're like infuriated. You're I'm in there with my glasses going, what the fuck? You know what I mean? Do something, right? Right? Until I realize why they're doing it. And I'm like, ah. Uh. <laughs> that was your point? <laughs> I mean, how do you feel about rhino? I'll tell you tusk, what. I'll tell you what. It, I'll tell you what it was. Okay, <laughs> they're killing these magical whales, right? And then you don't know why. You're like, oh, what are you gonna sell the meat, right? No. They go inside the mouth of the whale. Yeah. Do they not? They yeah. Yeah. Walk in. They stick a gigantic drill into the brain of this whale, right? And there's a mechanism, and it comes, and, all, and they have like a little cylindrical thing where. There's like yellow goo that comes out of the whale's brain, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. right? That gives human beings long life. The ability not to age. Mm. Not to age. Mm. So is it worth it? So it's like just basically collagen. Yeah. <laughs> no, but this like will extend somebody's life, right? Yeah. So, so that, you, you feel like that's. I didn't feel as bad. That. <laughs> <laughs> Cause you would pay 80 million for that. I don't serum. know. I don't know. Would you? The serum's worth eighty million. That's what they're yeah. Eighty million. Eighty million, right? Yeah. So you kind of go. Uh, I mean, would you, if 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 a, if whale brain serum mm-hmm. gave you an extra forty years of life, is it worth killing? That's the di- discussion. It right. depends. You walk, if, you walk into Sephora or whatever. Well, no. If right. I'm just yeah, the yeah, lady, you're in Sephora, yeah. And I'm, I'm the lady at Sephora. I'm wearing the black. Go ahead. Right. Hi. Um. Do you want brain juice from Pandora from whales? But what does it do? What does it do? I'll do the act with you. I'll do the sketch because I feel like you're not in the sketch, right? 
Uh, yeah, I, I don't understand. Like, I, I didn't watch the movie, so yeah. Well, okay, so ideally, basically, let's take. I get it. I get it. I get it. I get it. Just, but go ahead. Well, can you be her friend in the sketch or no? Yeah. Okay, you you play the opposing. Hey, people. ladies. What's up? What's up? Uh, my name is Ramon, and guess what? We just got brand new brain serum from Pandora. Oh my god. Yeah, and it's like for a little vial, yeah. it's three point five million. But Jesus. Hear it okay. out. Hear me out. What does it right? do? Forty years. First of all, you're, it's going to take thirty years off your life into in, in your in your face. You're going to look thirty years younger. Love it. Right. It's going to give you forty years extended life. Mm -hmm. Right. And it's only for three point five million. Do um, you want to know how it was extracted? <laughs> yeah, I feel like you're really pushing an agenda here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, the bad news is that we brutally kill these symbiotic whales. Brutally? Yeah, brutally. In front of their babies. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You didn't have to do that, but okay. And we go inside the mouth, and we do this whole thing. You know what I mean? I'm not a scientist, so I don't know. But anyway, um, would you like to buy some? Interesting. Let me confide with uh, Janice. Janice, go ahead. Well, as you know, I work for Greenpeace. You do. I forgot. You're also a whale conservator. <laughs> a whale conservator. You work for Greenpeace? <laughs> yeah, and Jeez. I don't know if you s you've seen that show on, um, I think, I don't know if it's called Whale Wars. <laughs> Uh, did you just? Are you a producer on Whale Wars? Wait, hold on. You work for Greenpeace and you're a producer on Whale Wars? Yeah. What? Explain also, the premise of I Whale Wars. I thought that Sephora was kind of pushing like a clean agenda. That's true. Do you so where they here? don't test on animals? I don't, actually, I Do you don't. Work here? Actually, I don't. Hey, wait a second. I, I, yeah, I mean, they're about to kick me out now, but I always like set up my little, um, you know what I mean? I set up shop here, you know what I mean? But oh, yeah. they're telling me to leave. Bye. A guy who just sets up at Sephora. Yeah. And also, I'm like seven foot six, and I'm blue. <laughs> look, <laughs> look, we eat. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I know. It's, That's brutal. The it's way. A, we yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right. You're right. But I would do. I don't know. It's brutal. It's pretty brutal. But the movie was but great. Worth Check noting. It out. There are cultures, and you know that where you eat uh, whale blubber, whale meat, mm -hmm. seal meat, because that is what is most readily available to them where they live geographically, and. You know, like I don't hold any judgments because over here we eat pig, cow, yeah, chicken. And so it's like that's available to us where we live, and other people live more sustainably by catching what's you know in their environment. That's an interesting question. So, do you think that if a pig or a cow could actually speak, that we would still eat them? I don't think we would. That's a little, that's, it changes it a bit because then you're talking about something very similar to us. With that kind of brain, yeah, with that intelligence. Because you know, there, there'll be like a Mar Martin Luther King w cow. <laughs> he'll do a speech. Okay, <laughs> all right. No, he'll do a speech. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, move, move. four acre. No, he can speak. Oh, that's right. Yeah, four <laughs> acres and three farms ago. You know what I mean? And he'll do a speech, and he'll inspire a whole clan, all the cows, cows, yeah, yeah. right? And they'll revolt. And also, there'll be liberals listening to them. And go, we can't do it anymore. Yeah, that's true. Right? Don't you think? If a pig goes, hey, don't kill me. My name is John. You yeah. wouldn't do it. There goes all your Korean dishes. Oh, yeah. fuck. Your kimchi jjigae you with your pork belly. <laughs> oh, fuck. What Kobe do we do? So long tang. But Korean cows and pigs maybe is different. <laughs> no, they don't speak. They don't speak English. <laughs> They're just probably. for meat. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. um, oh, have you guys yeah. seen the menu? I want to see. I please, haven't. I bought you, it. I haven't you both, yet. please watch it and let me know. You Why? Think? It's very. Good. Have you guys seen? Is it? Well, wait. Let me just. Real quick. Is it good? I would almost say. I bought it. My uh, my movie of the year. How about Violent Night? I haven't seen that one yet. Okay, go wait, ahead. Wait, my Violent. second movie of the year is The Banshees of Inisherin. I heard that's great. It is. Banshees. Colin Farrell. So good, and so simple, and so funny to me. It's funny. And dark. It's everything. It's everything you like. Do you like In Bruges? Did you like uh, In Bruges? Yeah. Oh, I don't know. Ah, uh, yes, Bobby, you've seen it. I think Gleason's in this. What? In uh, the movie she's talking about. Yeah, and his son is in Star Wars. Oh. Do you remember? Anyways, watch it. I loved it. Her, his, check out his son. I don't know who his son is. Have it's you guys? Emperor. Um, like did you guys survive the uh two week? A uh, rainstorm um, bomb cyclone just fine? No. Just barely a few leaks in my house, but. Uh, That's it? Yeah. 
Rosenbaum looks like he's dying. Oh no, we almost died last night. Wait, what was your? Oh, last night was, what the was worst. your LA. Okay, experience? we had Das Boot last night. We had we had <laughs> Wait, last night was fucking Katrina, our Katrina. Well, because like that it was hadn't. Our it, yeah. <laughs> like the rain didn't let up, not even for one second for a straight twenty four hours, and it was like coming down like fast. The lightning was. I, cracking I've been right in LA now. for twenty five years, and I'm, it, listen, mind you, I know there's storms. The East Coast was terrible. I know everyone, every other state has way worse weather, right? But for California, last night was out of control. I ran, I drove through four rivers, <laughs> like full blown geological rivers, man, right? One over there on the, it was like, I would, my, my car was halfway in water, <laughs> right? Last night, I'm sitting upstairs in the living room watching my favorite show of all time, The West Wing. And I'm, I'm naked and watching the, now I have my underwear on, 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 watching The West Wing. And then Jules comes up, she goes, my, my room, my room leaking. <laughs> Why does she sound more foreign every time? <laughs> I don't know. That's what it sounds like to me. My room. My room. Reeking. <laughs> sound reeking so much. Yeah, yeah. I go, what do you mean? She goes, reeking. <laughs> okay, dude, we got it. We got it. We got it. One more time. One more time. Yeah, yeah. One what more was, time. What did she say about I mean, what are, you, what are you trying to say? <laughs> reeking. <laughs> I, I don't know. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> So I go reeking. <laughs> so I, I go. <laughs> I go. What's going on? She's, and then we look at our, my balcony, and it's <laughs> water. And it's, it's a it's whole swimming pool. It's like gonna seep into my the hardwood and floors inside my house. So it's above the steps. Yes. How does it get above the steps? The grass. Well, no, 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 no. The upstairs balcony. In the front oh, that balcony. balcony. Yes. Shit. And so it was, it a, was whole a pool swimming pool because apparently um, the drain had gotten clogged with leaves <sighs> and now it wasn't draining. And so we didn't notice because it's always drained in the past. The last rains was were fine. But apparently the last rains had collected all of this leaves and um, clogged the drain. So we didn't know we didn't know to check on it. We went out there and it was higher than my um, Ugg boot, the water. Yeah. So we took pots pans any i thought my weapon of choice was the most it was genius efficient. but there was a flaws to it what did you choose there's i chose a trash bag oh, okay and i was able to get gallons out at a time but what's it, the flaw i'll tell you what the flaw is right the amount of the amount of time it takes to get all the water inside your trash bag <laughs> right what using a small little thing would have been the same amount no because i would do four swipes like i was mining gold got this amount of water and then threw it over the balcony. I'm sorry, I don't want to argue with you. I'm sorry, I don't want to argue. I was there for two hours. I you, you, can I tell you what Bobby did? Well, let me just finish my point then first. He would do this for let five minutes. Let me finish minutes. my point okay. first. Let me finish my fucking point first, all right? You ungrateful bastard. I was out there for fucking you for your two help. hours. Thank you for your help. Okay? Can I just finish my point? Mm -hmm. Here's how I know. And I, this is an argument. I'm sorry. I could be wrong, okay? But let me say something. When we were out there, it was rainy. It was cold. We were shivery, right? <laughs> And I played a little game with myself in my head, oh. right? While she was panning gold with this fucking white trash bag, right? <laughs> I, was, I was taking a blue little, uh, I don't know, a gigantic cup. I don't know what you call it. Okay. It's a pot. It was a my pot. cooking pot. A okay. cooking pot. And I'm scooping it out. So I, the game I played with myself is like, wow, this girl's taking forever, right? So I go, <laughs> how many scoops am I going to do before she does one bag? Okay. And I equated 10 scoops to your one bag. I, my argument is, is that my 10 scoop was as much as your bag. Oh. 10 scoops of something this small, and I was able to fill 10 gallons at a time. That was a big trash bag. Which took you a couple, that's fine. No, it. <laughs> we need to do this experiment. Can I also just say, can I also just say, the don't reason. Get angry, don't get angry. I'm not. The reason you. <laughs> it's just an argument. You have no right to say anything is because you would scoop for five minutes and take 20 minute breaks and then watch West Wing come out for five minutes. You're watching West Wing. And then. When did I stop for two hours? Did I take a single break for two hours? Okay, uh, can I make an argu the argument then? Po I was a pokey, fucking pokey. athlete out there. Pokey here. Uh huh. Pokey. Uh, Go ahead, Pokey. My argument is this: is is that, but you don't understand that before you even came into the the game. Uh huh. I was already doing it for thirty minutes. No, I counted. How many minutes? I was like, how long before he's gonna yell for me to help? And it was exactly two and a half minutes. Babe, five, five, babe. five minutes. Five minutes. Give me five minutes. I'll give you thank five. You for, thank you for your help. <laughs> I feel like you're angry. You're right. I'm not. I'm not. I'm really. You know what? I'll say this. 
I had so much fun doing that. There's a reason why I didn't stop for two hours. I felt it was so meditative. I was drenched in rain. I was freezing my ass off, but I was like, this is a task at hand. I need to avert this crisis. And I felt so motivated to just get it done. And mm. I, Jules and I talked about it today. We were like, wasn't that so fucking fun and like invigorating? She was like, that was, it reminded me of the Philippines. I'm like, yeah, that's exactly what it was. When 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 we would have typhoons and the lights would go out and everyone was like panicking and we would all have our tasks that we had to wow. do to push the water out, to make, and it felt like that. And I was like, oh, you're kind of a team. And we were out there till three in the morning doing this, right? Three? Yeah, it was late. And finally, um, an emergency plumber came at eight in the morning and <sighs> took the leaves out, but it, we got it done. We emptied out the whole balcony. Yeah, it was crazy. And I could see it go down. It took forever, but I could see it go down. It was cold, and it was fun. It was a fun experience. It was and fun. Thank you for your help. Mm -hmm. Okay? Let's thank not you fight for about yours. It. You did it. Thank you for yours. Okay, thank you. Thank you for thank me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Um, <coughs> what else? <laughs> what else? Oh, what did you guys? what did you guys do for New Year? Oh, wait. It was super rainy then, too. I think most people was. Oh, wait. George is a new baby. Oh, yes. Bobby? Yeah, I didn't get to go out to the Sailing Valley like I always do for New Year. So, uh, I met his baby the before. The no, new one? no, the, the new, new one. one. Need to gotta, gotta you have a new one? You bounce it out with a little, yeah. little girl. How is your new baby? Uh, she's What's her a name? Dream. Noelle. 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 And she's a dream? Uh, she's the best. She sleeps all the time. Not the, I mean, Barely ever cries. Better than Tommy. Yep. Yeah, Tommy was a... Tommy's a... Tommy's a handful now. I bet he is. My favorite thing, I'll get him to narrate his day at school now a little bit. So last week he was like, uh, I was like, what happened at school today? He was like, Beth cry. Tommy push Beth. Oh, God. Yeah. He's and, red pill guy, huh? Yeah. Did you, <laughs> Jesus, Andrew Tate, was like, hey, Tate Jr. <laughs> Uh -oh, that's uh, I was like, you're not supposed to do that. You're not supposed to do that. And then every time any friends came over, I repeated the same story and laughed about it. But oh, I yeah, I'm I'm I, 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 I wonder what kind of boy he's gonna be. I'm very curious. Uh, he's he wants what he wants. Like he's uh, he doesn't give up on anything. But is he's he a jock? Stubborn. Is he a jock? No, um, I'm raising him as a genius, as okay, I've good. said. Okay, good. Uh, so he loves books. He loves reading books. He loves uh, but he. His perfect ratio is, I think, five adults to one him because he needs everybody to be pay attention to him. He's a ham. He's oh, a bobby. Cool. He's yeah. a little bobby. And what's Noel like? Quiet? Uh, yeah, just quiet and uh, sleepy and beautiful. Like, yeah, she's... But perfect. There's nothing going on? Yeah. Good. <laughs> that's all, you know, that's, Dude, that's his like biggest all fear. you care about. Yeah. What do you mean? <laughs> if everything's okay. No, I'm, I, I, something I'm concerned about. It's like when a baby comes out and people count the fingers. But you always have to. That's actually one of that's part of the protocol. What are they? Yeah. What is the protocol? Um, fingers. Yeah, you have to count the fingers. Br breathe, slap. Mm -hmm. the vitamin K, right? All of that yeah. stuff. Yeah, I mean, it's it, it dictates what your life is going to be. Really so what does. if you have? I told you, I know, had yeah. I swam with a boy um, who was so fast um, in the Philippines. His name was um, Hyrula Haitula, I think. But he had a total of like I think twenty eight digits so he had six here six here like two extra toes or something but he was an incredible swimmer but he wasn't allowed to swim like in the national team because of his um cheating it's not yeah he has fins on his hands <laughs> what's so the two fingers up here one on his feet or that yes oh i love I, well I, I would love to be a goalkeeper with those hands <laughs> Bro, dude, no one hey, would score dude, against you. World Cup, oh my God, yeah. Chelsea kick. Look yeah, how intimidating yeah. that is. It's yeah. just also distracting. You're, you know what I mean? Do you think that Chelsea or like um, all of these big um, Premier League teams, like they try to like scout dudes with like extra digits, yeah, or, like, really big hands? If France had that guy's goalie, but I also yes. think you know how some kids are born with like um, six arms in India. Yeah, that would be a great goalkeeper too, because imagine when their hands come out like this, as a, as a and then the other hands could be do other other things like taxes or whatever. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think. I mean, you're not gonna use all hands. You, just, you could just like multitask. Anyway, my point is, is that <laughs> dude Chelsea needs to recruit this guy. Yo, get this guy quick. Here's here's my thing about um, Kit Children and as a comic, I, I'm not gonna say his name. But there was a comic that we had 20 years ago. I, I talked to about him with Eleanor the other day, just privately. And there was this guy, he, he's from New York. He was um, 
just the next guy up. He was so funny, this kid. And he had a wife. And then I don't know what his child has, but he, it was a kid that needed a lot of attention. Um, there were some things going on. Um, and he quit comedy. And he um, did dedicated his life to raising his son. I respect that. I respect that too. And I feel like if I had a kid, I would have done the same thing. Yeah. I mean, either you have to go, you, you know, and so it's like, I think that's one of the reasons why maybe I didn't have kids, you know, because of the responsibility. Mm-hmm. So what I want to say to you, George, is that it's a huge responsibility and I'm, um, I'm proud of you, man. I think you can job. have kids. Can I say something? Um, um, well, I have money now. I'm going to hire a nanny. <laughs> well, be, outside of that, I think that a perfect partner for you is someone who understands that you'll like love your children a lot, but maybe will not um, participate in the day-to-day um, stuff like as intensely. Like, Yeah, but that's what my dad did. But I mean, like, you know, it's, I mean, even if you think about, like, our, our animals, right? You buy them great food. You go splurge on them, right? Yeah. But you're not doing the feeding, the pooping, the vets, the difficult stuff. Like, you're, you're very efficient at some parts. I do play. You do play. I, I love, I love hard on them. Yeah. 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 But it's like um, here and there. It's not like every day... Um, I don't think that's not a good dad. fun stuff. I don't think that's a good dad. Mm. Because I think my memories of my dad were um, he never drove me to school. He never picked me up. He never um, took me to the game, played ball, any of those things. And he did provide. Um, you know, without his temper and his anger issues, there were moments of love there. But um, you do grow up resenting the fact. They're just, just, they're just a whole section of childhood I just never was able to experience. And I don't want to do that. You know, I think that's important to like pick up your kid up and ask him how his day is. I think so and too. And all those things. Yeah. So um, I think of all things to like just be emotionally available because you could do all of the providing and all the chain, you know, getting them to where they need to be. But if you're not able to, just be um if you're emotionally neglectful and you don't acknowledge that your kid is like this thing with feelings i think that's the most detrimental to a kid yeah i believe so but that's where i feel like you'd shine you're Mm -hmm. somebody who really gives really good advice you're able to you know talk and work through feelings difficult ones yeah i mean i I think that um I, i could teach my kid um things obviously that i learned from being in 12 stub groups all my life. And, you know, I've, I've always asked older dudes, you know, throughout my life, you know, what do I do? What's the best way to handle the situation? What's your perspective? Even if I agree or dis- disagree, you know, I'm, I've always been like, I've always wanted to n- learn how to live life, mm. you know? And um, because when you're a kid, you're not, especially when you're a kid that speaks English and your parents don't speak English, you're getting all your information through media, like the television, or th- little glimpses you would see with your friends' parents, right? But you never know how to do anything, you know? Mm-hmm. You don't even know what to do with your emotions or what feelings are, That right? must have been so hard to so like hard. have like a difficult feeling and know that you have to go outside of your parents to kind of like figure that out. I mean, that's why I was blessed that at 17... I was able to go to meet AA meetings because it's like I went to these men's meetings with way older people like lawyers and plumbers and people that had their own companies. And we would go on these retreats. When I was a junior in high school, I went on to that monastery with uh, like 30 men and we stayed at a monastery. And I remember I stayed in a room with this guy named Bruce. He was a lawyer. He had his own law, law firm and he had a mustache or a thick mustache. And I was a high school. And I would just lay in bed, like there were bunk beds or something, and Bruce would be above, and this is a 50-year-old man at the time. And I would go ask him things about life and, and about relationships and, you know, alcoholism. And he would like, I would listen to everything he said, you know. So I was lucky in that way. But anyway, uh, it's not the funniest podcast we've ever done. But it's the best. 
You think so? I think so. This is pretty is good. there anything um, in the new year <clears throat> that you are looking forward to or you feel like you want to um, change, improve on? No. Absolutely not. Nice. I've done that before. I never do it. Yeah. Yeah. So no. Do you? Um, how about you just cast a vision for how you want to feel? I'm freezing my eggs, I think, in April. Oh. Good. That's great. You, yeah, just great. as an insurance policy. Yeah, that's great. Um, and then I think I just want to do something really big and different this year. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's Outside good. Outside of, you know what I mean? I think that's it. How about you, Gail? Be less stressed. Kids? Mm. Maybe. Let's have them together. Mine Amazing. might be like a, a just a donor sperm. Though. Cindy's worried about our child's head because she both we both have round, big heads. Would yeah. you like to be a surrogate <laughs> of my sperm? Um, let me see. Well, you don't like round heads. Well, Cindy's worried she's gonna have to get a C-section because of my a thousand percent she is with those heads. Cut open. That's no, fine. They come out fine, and then then their heads start skyrocketing afterwards. Both uh, yeah. also, my, the my, head bones um definitely are very malleable when they're um um infants, or and so they will stretch according to the birth canal. So my sister came out well, as a cone head. But tell yeah. my mom two C sections, me and then my sister. You know what? Just be happy with however big the head is. Big the head is. <laughs> Interesting. Yeah. I mean, How about you, George? Mm -hmm. um, well, I've been reading a lot since I have to put my son to sleep, and I got a Kindle, so I, and he just like stays there and like gets bored. So I've been reading Harry Potter, so I think I'll write a young adult novel or something. He's oh, so you read to him, and do you, once he falls asleep, do you keep reading? Uh, well, I read to him like uh, picture books, and then uh, when he's supposed to go to sleep, I'll turn over and like start reading a Kindle. But like he cries if I leave the room, so I have to stay in bed. Oh, with him he loves you that much. Yep. See, that's... Like honestly, think about that. That I that's an experience I never had. Mm. I mean, I can't even imagine my dad laying next to me and reading. I mean, it's it's I feel like I was robbed. Hmm. You know, that's it's such an amazing thing. And you don't know what the impact is, but it, it, there's a huge impact. Every little thing you do, there's an impact. Mm -hmm. How you talk to them, you know, and all that stuff. So Amazing, dude. That's good. That's really sweet. That's really George. sweet. Anyway, but um, you missed the main thing he said. What was it? He's gonna write a novel. No, this year. I'm not gonna. I, I love how you skip past that. <laughs> I love it's how you just it's ridiculous. Skip past. He's not gonna write it. You're not gonna write. You're gonna write a what? A novel, dude. Why a young eight? adult novel. I, I need to figure out the next. Uh, what will be the next hit? Is it all about magic? I need to look at all like what are what are the what are the hits? Oh, so you think you're gonna be like a J.K. Rowling kind oh, of guy? Oh, like sure. a Twilight guy. He wants to have or a big Twilight. Yeah. Oh, that'd be cool. <laughs> You want to co-write? Yeah, let's co-write a book, <laughs> a children's book. No, I think I can. I think I can come up with some crazy, like, um, give me a log mytholo line. mythological things. Give me a basic log line hero story for a YA novel. A well, let, novel. let's talk, let's talk about the things that are out, and like, we, okay. we can't do the same thing. Vampires. Everyone does the vampires. With no bland vampires. Now I want to use an idea that you had, uh, which the, was <clears throat> uh, the grandpa and the grandchild who uh, run a hotel in space. That'd be a great. Oh, that adult. was our. Remember the Korean, the gas station family. Yeah, yeah. They ran a gas station in space and in a liquor store. Ah, that's a cool. Yeah, it's like a gas station slash hotel, like a. You know what I mean? It's yeah. like a Korean Jetsons, but not as futuristic. Well, it's not that '60s mod futuristic. Right, right. It's more like. Would you see it more like Alien Two, that kind of greasy, watery, or is it? More colorful, like um, well. Now that if we're putting a young adult, like yeah, fifth, it's more fifth element. Yeah, more colorful. More fifth, fifth element, element without any bad words. Right, no bad words. But here's what I want: that we have to have mythology involved in it, and and we have to create races in it, right? And we have to create conflict, and we have to figure out what this family, this grandfather and son. Yeah, what, what, yeah. Go ahead. We're not gonna recreate next gen or deep space nine, K. <laughs> That's not what I'm doing. It felt like exactly. you were kind of That's not what I'm doing. That's not what I'm doing. I am. <laughs> the kid's yeah, name yeah, is yeah. Picard. <laughs> it's not Picard. No, because well, I'll, I'll add the Harry Potter stuff and we'll be perfect. It'll, it won't look like anything else. Yeah, because here's what you don't see. You don't see like space shit with infused with magic. You do not. Yeah. yeah. Right. It's always lasers and technology. Right. But can we infuse magic with that world? And then the son of the grandfather, right? He's an immigrant kid, right? His dad only speaks thick Korean language because he's from Korea. 
this kid was raised, you know what I mean, maybe on the space station. The dad died. And there's a prophecy about this kid. Something he has a destiny, right? And it has to do with, um, you know, I love prophecy shit. You know what I mean? I love like, you know, maybe there's a book. Maybe there's, maybe there's, maybe there's this. Maybe there's a book, right? That back, way back, the, the Korean War, right? Wasn't really about the Korean War, right? Okay. The Korean War was, people think it's because the communists were coming down, this and that. And the Americans got involved to fight communism, but maybe they were trying to find a book. Oh, they 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 know that you know what I mean the communists have a book, right? That they it's and, but the book is from space, the book is ancient, right? And the book is there's like an energy to this book, right? And so um, the grandfather has this book or whatever, you know what I mean? Hundreds of yeah. years later in the future, right? And um, maybe we can do it like that. Infuse real historical things that happened. Why the Koreans, you know what I mean, would have this thing. And this kid has something to do with it. Yeah, let's have a white guy write all about Koreans. <laughs> That's why I'm co-writer. Yeah. I just toss his name on. I'll do all the research about the Korean history. <laughs> Him and I could spitball, I mean, these crazy yeah. ideas, yeah. right? And we'll create this world. I want. I want to do. I, imagine writing a book with this guy. Yeah, yeah. We couldn't use our names. Let's come up with. What do you call it when they, we have different names? Ghost writer name. Um, yeah. yeah, we have different names. Your aliases. Yeah, and we'll create different names. Mm -hmm. You have an Asian name. I have an Asian name. Right, <laughs> Dominic Hong. And what's your name? <laughs> Almost sounds like uh, Gordon X Lee. That's wow. cool. Yeah. Right, Gordon X Lee and Dominic Hong. X Lee. Right, we're writers, and we create this fucking thing. We split it fifty fifty. If they make it into a movie, Ooh. you know what I mean. A change. franchise. It's a franchise. Let's do it. Anyway, okay. happy new year. Love you guys. Slept King. We'll see you the rest of the year. Got a lot of big things planned, and we love you. Bye. One more thing. JR. I wanted to plug, yeah. Plug um, JR really quick. <clears throat> yeah, so I saw JR, Chef JR, um, at your wedding. Mm -hmm. Him and his wife, Chiho, were sitting across from us. And it was really nice to see him. They have both catered many of our Christmases, Thanksgivings, birthdays. The last one here um, they did, I can't let you, was just the best freaking food ever. Um, and he's just been sort of this pivotal part of the Filipino community. He's fed us all for many years. And he has recently, right before Christmas, um, had to undergo an emergency bypass surgery. Can you explain to people what that would even entail? Um, I'm not sure about the specifics of it, but basically like that is a very serious thing either. He went, he, it's a very serious cardiac issue that might've been a heart attack, but for someone so young, that is a long road to recovery. He has three young children. This man is beloved in our community. We love him. And um, his friends have set up a GoFundMe page. So um, if you guys can mm -hmm. give, um, please, uh, George, can you put up the GoFundMe link on there? And um, I mean, Gilbert can speak to. Yeah, he's awesome dude uh started a restaurant um like claude was saying serves the community not even just filipinos but just la in general um and he uh yeah he's not backed by a restaurant group a lot of these people you can you know have all this money behind you it's just just him and his family community supported uh banks so unexpected surgery um only 40 years old uh crazy he's my age yeah, yeah. and um three young children and um we all know how hard he works, and he could really use a boost um, from the community who he has served for so well for a really long time. So if you can, please do. Yeah, check. Uh, link will be down below in the comments, guys. Thank you. Thank you.